Certification is a review process that is third party. So it's not the, uh, the person doing the work that, that gives certification, but it's an external body that comes in and verifies that the process that they are using is a good process, uh, that they are doing things properly and sustainably and managing for all the values that we want. So it's, it's an external review of, of something you're doing to give you a stamp of approval. Uh, so when you go to the marketplace, you can say with credibility that you are doing things well. The concept of sustainability is quite simply the ability to do something today that we need to do or that we want to do without damaging the future opportunity to do the same thing. Uh, so in the case of forestry, for example, sustainable forestry means uh, being able to harvest wood and manage forests without damaging the ecosystem services like the carbon that gets sequestered or the wildlife habitat that gets maintained. Uh, the biodiversity that gets maintained, the, the water purifying and the, and the oxygen production, all of that remains. And in the future, uh, the next generation, the next uh, young people, the next, the next generation of people who want to do the same thing can still do it because the forest is still there, it's still healthy, and the forest is still thriving and able to produce these things. There was a time not long ago when forests could sustain themselves, no problem, and there may still be some forests that can still do that. But with increasing threats like climate change and invasive species, we find that forests that are managed can help reduce the threats of those things by reducing fuel loads, by reducing uh, dead trees and, and trees that are of ill health that, that pests tend to, to prey on. In this way, forest management can actually provide for things that a natural forest would have trouble providing for, like a diverse amount of habitat. Um, we often think that old growth forests, for example, very ancient forests will persist forever. But in fact, we know that they don't. Uh, and in many cases, older forests will, will uh, be infected by pests and become great fire risks. Uh, and then we lose those forests over time. And forest management can help reduce those risks and maintain forest health. We do see increasing threats, in particular from climate change, uh, that are causing increased fires and, and, and mega catastrophic fires that cause great amounts of problems. But overall, the, the managed forest is doing very well. It is in some cases the unmanaged forests that are suffering more from these effects. Uh, but we continue to work on those, on those problems and get better in how we do things uh, over time. Huh. Uh, I do not. Uh, I do not. However, I will say that uh, late last year, there was a paper published by Vidal et al. Uh, in November of 2022 in Forest Ecology and Management that said, in particular for Spain, uh, there needs to be an increased emphasis on climate smart forestry and, and doing forestry that is adaptive to the threats of climate change. This is something that in North America we've been working on for the last few years, uh, developing climate smart forestry practices that will uh, safeguard the forest against climate change and, and maintain a healthy forest over time. Uh, and I can also say that um, uh, our partner organization here in Spain is PEFC. Uh, they endorse SFI uh, as North American products come here. Uh, but PEFC has done a great job, in, particularly in Nevada, where the most amount of certification has occurred uh, in all the, the autonomous regions of Spain. Uh, Nevada has the most certified forest, which is uh, bueno.